All right, so we got a uh, uniform line charge of two microcoulombs on the z-axis, and we want to know what the electric field is at a point P in two scenarios, when it's an infinite line charge and when it's just a line charge going from negative four to four. So let's get started. So for infinite line charge, we know we can use E equals rho L over two pi epsilon naught um, R over the unit vector. So that would be R over absolute R. Right? Um, yeah. This is absolute too. Um, so what do we do now? So rho L is two microcoulombs per meter. Um, the only thing we don't know here is the R, right? So for this, we have our point P, and we know Z, um, the Z axis, is 0, 0, and all Zs, right? Um, so we need to find an R, we'll call it R P Z where that's just the point P and Z, and we'll take P to be the first one, one, two, three, subtract by this Z axis here, zero, zero, and I'm gonna write here three here, and here's why. When you have a, um, a line charge that's infinitely long, like this, and you have some point, you know that all these um, verticals, all the vertical components are going to cancel and you're just going to get some some value here. So you know if this is the Z, you know you have um, no Z component. You only have the XY, the XY values. So these should cancel. So you, you just, you basically don't have to worry about a uh, Z. I'll try it like that. And the book does this notation, AX plus 2AY. Same thing. Okay, so now you just plug in your values. Um, plug this in. We'll call this R squared. <clears throat> so we'll plug in equal to rho L two phi epsilon naught um, so this squared I kind of that, that notation is a little funky but this squared is just going to look like this it's going to look like 1 squared plus 2 squared squared so you know this is going to cancel with the square root right this is going to be a 5 and you still have this uh, one two up here, and then that's your answer, rho l. So not five, one two, and e equals that'll be a ten. I'm just combining this two and that uh, five. Epsilon not. And then uh, one and two. And when you actually like solve these numbers, you'll end up with 7.2 AX plus 14.4 AY kilovolts per meter. Because you have all these numbers. You just have to plug this in for two microcoulombs, plug in your epsilon value, and yeah, you get your number. So for B, we can't make the assumption that it's infinite, so it makes it a little bit harder. Um, use this blue right here. So now we have to use the full integral equation because we we can't assume 
which would look like this. Now we have r squared. I'll do a big r again because I did a big r before. r squared over the unit vector again. So r, r. And that equals, uh, and then you do the same thing. So now p is equal to one, two, three again. Z is equal to zero, zero, Z. But this time, when you do your R, Z, P, like that there, um, one, two, three. Uh, you can't you can't leave this out like before remember we did the uh we said that there's not going to be any uh, vertical components here well we can't assume that anymore because this is not infinite so um the points over here may not necessarily cancel so the, let's say the points down giving you a component like that they may not cancel the components down here because it's not infinite so that's that's the only reason. So now you'll have something that looks like this. One, two, three, minus Z. Then you just plug all this in. I'll do I'll leave this on the outside. Actually, I'll use their, I'm going to use their notation for the integral, just because I think it looks a little nicer when you're doing integral stuff. Over. So all this is just going to be, uh, if you look, this is an absolute value, which is just the square root of that. So it's really going to be like to the three halves. Absolutely. And then you would um, do the integrals from balance four to four. And this integral is like, you can see it kind of gets crazy because you have a z term down here, and that's to the power, and then you have a z term over here. So I'm not going to do the actual integral, but the integral ends up um, resulting to something like this e four by epsilon naught. C minus three plus five AZ over Z squared minus six Z plus 14. And then if you continue to, uh, if you continue to evaluate the integral, you'll get 4.9 AX plus 9.8 AY is 4.9 AZ. Ultimately. 